Ramadan is defined by devotion and dedication to God as well as sharing of love and compassion for the needy. In that spirit, the Yoruba state government says 16,800 vulnerable and less privileged Muslims who benefit from its daily iftar, which is feeding program during the Ramadan fast. The state commissioner for religious affairs and ethical, ethical reorientation, Yusuf Umar, explained that the Ramadan feeding program will gulp more than 100 million naira. Mr. Yusuf said that the government has expanded the feeding centers from 67 to 84, and each center is expected to feed at least 200 people daily. BKO is a good way to start a Ramadan fast, wouldn't you say, or wouldn't you agree? Yes, I, I agree. Um, at this time, that our people are going through a lot. Then we've had Ramadan. I've had people say, oh, uh, fasting has come to meet fasting, which is a way of saying that yes, look, we are already on guy in the land, and then uh, the fasting season has has come, and that's the more reason governors have to step in and help assuage the pains that our people are going through. We cannot deny that um, at this time people are going through a lot. Whatever effort that anyone makes is not um, to be discountenanced. I've heard people say, oh, um, what can uh, a carton of Indomie do? You know, Nigerians, people, Nigerians just like to talk. Every Nigerian has an opinion, even on issues that they are they not qualified to talk mm -hmm. about. They have an opinion. That everyone wants to say something. People who are privileged, who can afford three square meals and even more, will not know that for some people, they can't even afford a meal in two days. This is the truth. Mm. And even God recognizes the fact that amongst us, there will be poor people. That's why he admonishes us to be kind, to show mercy and empathy towards the poor. Mm. Because he knows that, that all of us us. can't be comfortable. Right. You know? So, is the most vulnerable in the Yobe communities that are targeted. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. What we want to see is for our governments to be responsive, for our governments to bear every segment of our society in mind in coming out with programs. There are some programs that will benefit the upper crust of the society. There are programs that are meant for the Lazarus stratum of society. The Lazarus stratum of society is the poorest, is at the base. And these are the people that we are talking about. We are not saying, look, um, share rice to everybody. Share. We are talking about the people who live for the day. Mm. The people who do not know where their next meal will come from. So when people write all that stuff on social, social media, is a leveler. Everybody goes there to express an opinion, whether it makes sense or not. You know, people don't care. The privileged people, they can say all kinds of things on TV. You know? We live in an age where people can abuse the president and get away with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try that during Abacha's time. Ababangida? Huh? Abangida? Try that during Abacha's time. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and pay with your life. <laughs> so, so, this is, I, I appreciate what the your best state governor right? has done, and this is a man who has done a lot, even before now. Mm. We are seeing governors ramping up efforts. I know the president spoke with them, but we have also not left them alone here, because we know that they have resources. Look at what the Kadudan governor has done today. Palliative initiatives, costing in the realm of 11.4 billion naira, has come up with it. And some of them are meant to help people st 
uh, start small businesses that will put food on their tables. Mm. Governments need to do this for our people. It's not too much to do for our people. This is my, uh, my view. And the example of Yobe, I expect other governors. Mm. People are telling me that the governor of Oshun State has not done something like this. Maybe he's watching me. Maybe he has no time to watch me. But the people who work for him, if they, if they are watching, they should fear God. They should do what other governors are doing. Right. TKB, indeed this is about Ramadan. But what about after Ramadan? Should this also be looked at in terms of BKO raised the issue of the vulnerable, the poorest of the poor, while this is being made for them? But after Ramadan, what happens? Do they go back to their old lives? What are your thoughts? I'm sure you are aware of the National Register for the people at this level. And I expect that states and local government will do the same. Personal left to me, this should be done more by the local governments. Because on paper, they are supposed to know everybody that's vulnerable under their watch. So I'm not against being done by state or federal government. But to me, this will have far more impact if it's done at the lowest level hmm. of government. But having said that, you must understand that Ramadan is not just another month. It's a very special month. And for the Muslim Umar, it doesn't matter the condition they are. And my late mom, no matter what the doctor will tell her about age or ulcer or whatever, will still go ahead and fast at the ripe age of 100 years. So it's beyond the food. It's the camaraderie. Is the community elements. And it's not all over the world, even in Saudi Arabia. Apart from government, even very rich people will go out of their way and open their doors. In fact, this is the only time people will see the inside of the houses of some very prominent people. Mm. Because for, the, for, the, for 30 days, you have complete access to come. I know some state government does that as well. They open all their state houses. Anybody wants to walk in within reason allowed to come in and partake in the iftar, as it were. So I expect that we'll use this as an opportunity to create the register at, this low, at the lowest level of governance. Because I keep saying people say this because you have the opportunity to go. I said, no. The place I go to in London, for many years, the constable knows me. Because the first day he saw me, he said, I don't know you. Where do you live? Then the time I go back to that neighborhood, he will greet me. He may not remember my name, but he will say, I know you. You were not here last year. We should create the community at that level to take care of the vulnerable. Mm. I have nothing against the state government doing it, or the federal government. I still believe that if we could take it down to the city hall, or city council, or local government, it would be far more effective I, going I, forward. I agree absolutely with GKB, and that's why the governor of Ekiti State released 300 million naira to local councils. Mm and said, look, go and buy palliative grains for people. So because he knows that they will have greater penetration than um, if the state were to handle it. So it is through those local governments, he has released money. You people should go and get these grains you know, and distribute. And it's the same thing that the uh, Kogi governor has done. In fact, one of the local government chairmen who diverted his own, the sad. Kogi governor immediately sacked him. <laughs> so, because why, why do you do that? Indeed. Don't you mean for the vulnerable? You are diverting. I mean, this is the height of callousness. <laughs> and that's why many people always think, ah, these things will not go to the people who need it the most. Because the devious people amongst us, some of them, they have more than enough. They still want to steal from those who do not have enough. It's, it's, it's appalling. So in a nutshell, this should go beyond celebration or marking of the Ramadan? Of course. If you see what the Lagos State Governor right. has, has done, he has not planned it for Ramadan. He's, he's going to go on and on and on. The Sunday market. The Sunday market is not for Ramadan. Mm. The, the transport subsidy is not for Ramadan. The... Um, um, free uh, matana care for, for, the, pregnant. for the elderly and it's not for elderly. Ramadan or not for Muslims. Mm. So, some states have been doing this even before and they will the advent of the Ramadan. Right. And I'm confident that they will continue. Right. Some of the states, um, Yobe, Bono, and the rest of them, Kwara, they have been doing it even before 
Ramadan came, and I, I don't expect that because Ramadan has ended, they will now stop. Oh, of course, hunger will not stop with the departure of the Ramadan. Hunger will, will remain every until day. things improve, generally. All right, let's quickly move on to 